This video is not made for kids, it's for older fans and adults, so fuck off and enjoy the video! The best hunters ever. Raul the Brazilian agent had just gotten repaired after his accident at the site of the Peel Godridge shed. And now he was back at work, jumping in the yards during his visit to Sodor. One day, Thomas and Percy came to see him. Good morning, Wall. How are you doing with your shunting? Never better, Thomas. My joints have been oiled and my buffer beam is good as new. Did you learn your lesson after your accident at Peel Godred? I most certainly have, Percy. You know, I used to be one of the best shunters ever, until I retired from participating in the Great Railway Show Shunting Challenge. I know that, Wall. But why would you decide to retire if you said you're one of the best shunters ever? Because, Percy, as I told your friend Thomas, I lost the contest to him, and we had our own contest when he came to my country in Brazil. That was until you tried pulling a long goods train too hard, shot forward and crashed into a boom gate as you nearly fell into the sea. It was a good thing I came to your rescue after all. Yes, Thomas, you don't have to remind me every single time we meet. Well, have you ever won the shunting challenge before? Only once, Percy. There are a lot of smaller engines, like you guys, that are designed for shunting, and they do have their benefits. That's right, Wall. Come on, Percy. Let's get back to our jobs. Alright, Thomas. We'll see you later, Raoul. Don't shut too. That evening, Thomas and Percy have returned to Tidmouth Sheds after a useful day's work. They were soon talking to the other engines about Raoul. Did you know that Raoul is considered one of the best shunters ever? And yet he only won the shunting challenge once. Why do you two always have to talk about that newcomer from Brazil who's currently on loan to the Fat Controller? Don't be rude, Gordon. Raoul is designed for shunting and he's in scrub to be one of the best sentinel shunters there was. You're right, Thomas. I did tell the other engines that I once compete with Rao myself at the Great Railway Show many years ago. You know, if I ever took part in the show's festivities, then I probably would have competed in the strength competition. Honestly, I should have won the decorated contest if everyone paid more attention to my best looks. The win should have been mine. Calm down, James. Maybe if we ever get invited to another railway show, then you will see your chance to shine. What's wrong, Gordon? Are you still embarrassed that you forgot your safety valve when you took part in the race? Oh, the indignity. Please don't remind me. <laughs> oh, Gordon, everyone knows about your boiler blowing up when you didn't have your safety valve reassembled properly. <laughs> I'm not listening, I'm too sleepy, so good night. I think you went a little too far in reminding Gordon about this incident, Thomas. It's alright, Percy. Uh, I think we might as well get some sleep ourselves too. Good night, Percy. The next morning, Thomas and Percy were at Natford when the Fat Controller came to see them. I need to have a word with Raoul. Is he around by any chance? I'm not sure where Raoul is, sir. The last time we saw Raoul was when he was shunting in the yards yesterday. I'm here. I'm sorry that I'm late. I got held up at the crossing for five minutes. Ah, Raoul. I'm glad I caught you. I just had word that a ship is leaving for Brazil tomorrow morning. I suggest you make sure you're ready and waiting at the docks. 
I understand, sir. Can we go get him, sir? Good idea, Thomas. <laughs> and make sure he doesn't miss it. Oh, goodness knows when the next ship will be. Right, I better get to Wordsworth to pick up some tankers to take to the yard. No sooner had Raoul left, an idea flew into Thomas's funnel. I know how we can make Vol's last day even more special. You can? What idea do you have in mind, Thomas? We will have our very own shunting competition at Nantford Yards. We can shunt the most trucks in a single day and gather other engines that were designed for this job. I don't know about competing, Thomas. I'm not very good at shunting. But can I at least be your judge? Of course you can be one of the judges, Percy. How about this? You can look for some engines that can be the judges, and I'll look for some engines that will be shunting. Percy wasn't quite sure of what Thomas had said, as they left Nelson to find other engines that could take part in the challenge. First they found Rosie, Stanley and Charlie waiting in line at the coal hopper. Hello you two, have you come to wait in line for the coal hopper? We've come to let you know that we're hosting a shunting contest at Natford Yards later today. It's a surprise to all as it's his last day before he goes home back to Brazil. Thomas is going to shunt and I'm going to be one of the judges. Count me in guys, I'm a very quick shunter. Let me join in too. No, Charlie. The last time you were hunting, you were so busy laughing about your jokes, but you derailed your trucks. It would be safer if you were a church like Percy. Oh, that's not fair. Then, they met Fergus and Sonny at the coaling plant. Hello, Thomas and Percy. What brings you two at the coaling plant today? We're doing a shunting competition at Nabford Yards today. Would you two like to join? Thanks for the offer, Thomas, but I have to stay here and work at the coaling plant. I can go, but I will have to be one of the judges, just in case I spot someone derailing some trucks. That's brilliant, Fergus! You'd make an excellent judge since you're always telling everyone to do it right! Exactly, Percy. Finally, Thomas and Percy arrived at the shunting yard, where they met Stafford, the electric shunter. Guess what, Stafford? We're doing our own shunting competition right here at Nafford Yards. A shunting competition, you say? I'm not sure if I'm willing to take part in it, though. What do you mean, Stafford? You're one of the best shunters on Sodo! Yes, I am one of the best shunters, Percy. But the problem is that all the shunting would be too much for my battery. So, it would be just safer for me to be one of the judges. Fair enough, Stafford. I guess that means four judges should be plenty, just like the ones at the actual Great Railway Show. Did someone say there's a shunting contest going on? Philip, you're fixed! I sure am, Thomas. Now I am ready to shunt trucks again. Then you'll be taking part in our own shunting competition right here at Nafford Yards. Wow, brilliant! Thanks for letting me join in. Don't forget about me, Thomas. I want to show Raoul what it's like to be a true shunting champion. Of course you can join in too, Nia. Now that's settled. We'll just have to wait for the other rangers to turn up and we'll surprise Raoul once he returns from his errands. Later that day, Raoul was delivering some tankers to the yards. As he returned, he was in for a big surprise. Fenders and footplates, what's all this? Guess what, Wall? We're having our very own shunting competition at Nanford Yards in honour of your last day on Sodor. You did this for me? Wow, thank you, Thomas. This is just what I wanted to happen on my last day before I go back home to Brazil. Rosie, Stanley, Nia and Philip are also competing in the challenge. And Percy, Charlie, Fergus and Stafford are the judges for the event. So you're the engine that replaced me while I was aware the diesel works. I think I remember you from the Great Railway Show when I was carrying the Sodor flag. And you're that Philip engine that Thomas was talking about. I bet you can't shunt the trucks as well as I can. All right, Raoul. Let's do this. Everyone, let the shunting challenge begin. 
with the toot of the whistles and horns from the judges, the Sodor shunting competition had begun. The contenders were speedy, fast and had very quick thinking and agility. Thomas shunted the tankers, Rosie shunted the flank trucks. Stanley shunted the box vans, Philip shunted the flatbeds. Mia shunted the well wagons, and Raoul shunted all kinds of trucks, no matter what type they were. This is great fun. <laughs> I never had so much fun shunting in ages. Hey Raoul, I was going for those. Sorry, Lozi, you weren't quick enough. Ha ha ha. Wow! I didn't know Raoul was such a quick shunter. Tell me about it, Philip. Quit stalling, guys. We've got to finish this contest before Ramu takes all of our trucks. And off they go once again as it's neck and neck between Thomas and Nia as they battle their way through the yard. <gasps> What's this? It's Raoul taking the lead with more trucks than he had shunted from the start. Aha, uh -huh, I'm winning. Oh, I wish I was taking part in the shunting competition. But Stanley said you couldn't, Charlie. Remember what happened the last time he was shunting trucks around? Yes, but that was a while ago. Man, this is going to be interesting. Rosie and Stanley are shunting so efficiently that Raul hasn't come nearby to take their spotlight. We're meaning Miss Rosie. We shunted so many trucks that we've lost count. Let's not count how many trucks we shunted, Stanley. We've got a competition to win. It's all up to Thomas and Philip to finish the contest before Raoul comes nearby. Can they do it? Good luck, Philip. Good luck to you too, Thomas. So long, losers. <laughs> I'll be finishing this match once and for all. It looks like we've got ourselves a winner. Oh my gosh, it's Raul from Brazil! We would like to declare Raul our true champion for Solo Shunting Challenge! I've won? Yes! Ha ha ha! In your face! Well done, Raul! You did it! You've won Solo Shunting Challenge! Thanks for supporting me, Thomas. As I always say, you win some, you lose some. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, you guys! I didn't know Raul was that quick! Indeed I am, Philip. In fact, maybe I can return to the Great Railway Show Shunting Challenge. Now I've got my reputation back, I'll be sure to win this time. That evening, the engines were settling in the yards when the Fat Controller arrived. He had heard about the shunting contest and was very pleased with his engines. Raul, in particular, was looking forward to returning to Brazil. I've been hearing about the shunting competition you lot were having earlier, and I just want to say how obliged I am to see all the hard work you were handling, even when you were having fun. It's not just the fun we've had, sir, but I've also won the whole contest. Is that right? Well, congratulations, Raul. You have proven on your last day that you can be one of the best sentinel shunting engines that was ever built. We do hope you have a safe journey home to Brazil tomorrow. Raul couldn't help but smile. He had gotten his confidence back and was now looking forward to the next great railway show. The next morning, the engines gathered at the docks to say their goodbyes to Raul before heading home to Brazil. We do hope you have a safe journey back to Brazil, Wall. It was nice having you to come and visit. Goodbye! Gotcha, my friends. When Raul returned home to Brazil, Cassia unloaded him from the ship and put him back on the Brazilian rails. Welcome back, Raul. 
Did you enjoy your time on the Sodor? I sure did, Cassia. Let me tell you all about it. Oh, I like to listen to your adventure. And so, Raoul told Cassia all about his time on Sodor and how Thomas helped him get his confidence back when he ended up being the best shunting engine in the end.